Hey everyone, Zev here. Welcome to the Exit 8 Overview. This is something that got ported from Pancake and apparently was rather popular. I don't know if it was last year or something. Classically, I've never heard about it. That's primarily how I'm so out of touch with that part of gaming. And the general consensus was to go into it blandly without doing much research. I've done my part and let's see what are the results. <laughs> so the Exit 8 is an escape room walking simulator game where you are pretty much trapped in an endless metro underground and the task at hand is to leave the place through the exit numbered 8 and try to pass by harmlessly avoiding any weird situations. Basic rule of the game is rather simple, you essentially walk through the same corridor over and over with some stuff on the walls and then a man walking towards you. Every single one is built exactly the same except for one different thing that you need to kind of find. Based on that you progress or go back and then you kind of just go through a different number of exits. I'm personally not a huge fan of escape rooms, like there are only a couple that I really enjoyed and long story short Exit 8 didn't really entice me to play or bother what's going on, simply because the details that change are very subtle to me. And I kinda went into this project with no concept what an anomaly should be, so even if there were like very obvious ones, I would not consider them anything weird and that they are part of the horrorish ambience going on, so this kinda a miss for me purely from the concept perspective cause the game is pretty fine with the graphics, execution and stuff. It is simple, but that's pretty much the point of it. And I don't have an attention span to look out for little details and spend precious minutes that I have with the overviews. Either way, it's just not for everyone and that's okay. At least the port is very much resemblant of the original, which kudos to that. <laughs> Let's go find the exit. Can I help you, sir? Sorry? Hey, where are you going? Stop! Okay. So I've read a couple things about it, not a whole lot to not spoil myself, but I essentially need to look out for weird things happening, which there will be some. <laughs> but I don't know what kind of anomalies are we talking about. Also, there's no introduction, like it puts you in the game immediately. Besides the options and running, there's nothing else going on. I think it's a horror game, but... Oh, so the corridors will be repeating. Those are the same posters, so maybe to see the differences? They will be very subtle though. I need to like stop and read? I don't know. Who beats metros like that? I mean it's a pattern recognizing so... Maybe... It's not gonna be that sad though. Once you... 
past like 20 sections. I also need to verify with him. Did she have a brown eye before? It's not the same. Kinda. Okay, we have something else. Exit zero. Wait, but we were going to eight, no? Or maybe that's like the passing point. I hope the differences won't be like in the text though. He's kind of flying. Okay, so maybe there's gonna be seven more. Maybe look at his phone model. It should be two now. I mean, it doesn't really make sense to put an anomaly here. Where's that? <laughs> this is gonna be annoying. <laughs> Oh, it resets. Okay. So the changes will be very shallow then. But I'm not gonna stop and just look at stuff. I mean... I don't remember a name like that. Yeah, that's a fail. <laughs> it's hell. <laughs> think there should be some visuals. I feel like the changes are in the text, which I don't really care for.
What if a uh, Japanese letter changes? Like, that would be very much annoying. Like, I feel like I need to make photos of them and then compare it digitally. Riveting gameplay. I mean, there's a pattern that I didn't reach to yet, so... Okay, well, that's progress, I suppose. But if I'm gonna reset here, then I'll just stop. Develop this. Uh, I'm not a fan of that. <laughs> Wait, was that an anomaly? Nah, screw that. I don't really care for this, even though it's like a cheap thing that presumably got very popular on the internet or whatever. It's just not for me. I mean, with escape rooms, it's a very specific genre that you need to enjoy in order to enjoy. <laughs> but to me, the VR perspective doesn't really sell it enough to make it a worthwhile experience. Like. I don't really see the point to it. The changes are most likely just very subtle and you need to spend time reading stuff. That's not even in English. And if they are concerned in terms of the grammatics or whatever, then it's absolutely not accessible. I don't dig it. It seems like a trend and yeah, just no. <laughs>